But these are times of great vulnerability for these precious saints. Chapter 5 and verse 7. Verse 6, rather. He says, I, I opened to my beloved, but my beloved had withdrawn himself. And he was gone, and my soul failed when he spake. I sought him, but I could not find him. I called him, but he gave me no answer. And so the watchman, verse 7, it says it went about the city, found me. They smote me. They wounded me. The keepers of the walls took away my veil from me. You see, folks, there are times on the journey back home that you will encounter voices from within, as Paul says, fears, fightings within and fears without, or, or vice versa. You'll encounter voices from within and without, angry voices that are sent to misrepresent how Jesus actually sees you. Now, I'm speaking this not just to Times Square Church, but I'm speaking it to the church at large today. I'm speaking it to every true bride of Christ. Yes, you may have made a mess of what your walk with God was supposed to be, but in your heart, you're going to get up very shortly, and maybe you're already on the journey. You're going to try to make your way home. But there are going to be voices that are going to be raised up against you, and they're going to distort how Jesus sees you and try to stop you on the journey. David, when he was, yes, David made great mistakes. We know the history of David, but he, and he paid a price for it. There's always a price. There's always a loss for not walking the way that we should walk. And when David was back in Jerusalem and for a season had to endure a rebellion that came because of his failings, he was leaving, being pursued even by a member of his own family. And in 2 Samuel 16, there was this man called Shimei as David is leaving and crossing over the river. He's going to be back, folks, but he's leaving just for a moment. And Shimei stood on the, on the mountaintop, and the scripture says he cursed David as he went. And he threw stones at him and cast dust. And it's a type of a ministry that's going to rise, but it's another false prophetic ministry, folks. You've got to hear me on this. The Lord has warned me several times over the years, and it's never been wrong, the warning that's come into my heart. This ministry is going to rise. It's a Shimei ministry. It's the rise of angry watchmen, and they're going to cast stones at those that have made mistakes, and cause through stones is is a type of throwing theology, throwing lines out of context of scripture, causing the people to feel worthless and throwing dust at David. In other words, it's hopeless. You've sinned against God. You've made a mess of your life. God will not accept you. And he he cried out in verse 7, he said, come out you bloody man. In other words, you've, you've sinned against the blood. You, you've sinned against what God in his son did for you. Come out. In other words, come out of the inheritance. Shimei was there to stop David, perhaps to try to sow something into his heart that he'd never turn around and come back again. He says, come out, you bloody man and you son of Belial. In other words, you, you worthless man. You, you knew God, and yet you chose a path that brought dishonor to his name and brought harm to your family. Listen to what this bride says in Song of Solomon, chapter 5, and verse 7. The watchman went about the city. They found me. You see, she's looking for her bridegroom again. She's lost him, and she's looking for him. They smote me. They wounded me. And the keepers of the walls took away my veil from me. Took away my veil. You see, it was a bride-to-be, as it is. This was a wedding she was going to. And they took away my veil. And the, the veil speaks of recovering. They took away the sense that I'm lovely in the sight of the one that I'm going to be betrothed to. They took away my feeling of being wanted and loved and desired by God. They took away my anticipation of meeting him and the longing that's always been in my heart for his coming. They took it away. Folks, there's a ministry. That's the fire that God showed me. That's the fire that started as a nuisance. But in the dream, I waited too long to sound the alarm. And it spread. Folks, I'm here in this pulpit in obedience to God, and I'm sounding an alarm this morning. There's a false revival coming, another one. Just when you think we've had enough of them, another one is coming. 
The same camp that led thousands of people astray is now going to set these angry watchmen on the road, cursing them as they come back home to God. Under the guise of holiness, it's nothing more than legalism. I'll prove it to you in the New Testament. Go to the book of 1 Timothy, please. 1 Timothy chapter 4, if if you find it hard to believe that this is coming. Here's what the Holy Spirit spoke to Paul, and he wrote it to Timothy. In 1 Timothy chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. Paul said, the Spirit speaks expressly, clearly. Paul said, it's not vague, I've got a word here from God. That in the latter times, the times, folks, that we're living in, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy and having their conscience seared with a hot, or that means a heated iron. In other words, it will be a heated message that will come. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats which God has created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. So, so Paul says there's going to be a departure from the faith in the latter times. There's going to be people who give heed. They listen to seducing spirits and theology of devils. They're going to have their conscience burnt with heat. They're going to forbid to marry. Now I want you to think of this bride in the Song of Solomon trying to make her way back to her bridegroom. They're going to forbid the bride as it is. They're going to take away the veil. They're going to say you're unclean, you're not ready, you're undesired. You've sinned against light. You've wronged God. He does, he's not happy with you. The best you can hope to do now is cry out for mercy. That's the best you can hope for. You've disgraced the name of God. You've disgraced your Savior. There's going to be this bringing out of the stones as it is of the Old Testament and casting them at the bride of Jesus Christ. Forbidding them to marry. In other words, forbidding them to the marriage. She said, they took away, they found me, they smote me, they wounded me, and they took away my veil. I see hundreds and thousands of people coming back out of wrong theology trying to walk down this narrow corridor, trying to get to a place where they know safety and security is, and yet there are going to be these Shimei prophets standing on the side of the road and casting these stones at them all the way and commanding to abstain from meats. And this is what this, I believe the last false revival is going to be. It's going to be a, 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 it's not a real revival, it's a false one. Forbidding and commanding. You're not ready to meet him, in other words. You're not ready to meet him. He is not going to receive you. He's going to be angry. A list of your sins is piling up against you. And now the second half.